welcome back to my channel on this episode of weekly palette rundown we're gonna talk about the palettes that i used this week the brand that i picked was makeup revolution i also did iheart revolution because it's a sister brand it's the same brand and i want to talk about the palettes that i use how i used them and some things so we are going to start off with these these right here are like 20 bucks a piece and they're terrible well they're not terrible i don't want to say they're like completely terrible all right, so this was, it is the mattes in these. They're dusty, they don't build, they blend away. Like I put them on my eyes and they're gone. Um, I tried to do a blue look with like brown. Like I think I tried to use this, this, and this, and it turned out awful. And then I had to make videos with it. And I was so frustrated that I actually only made like, oh no, wait, it wasn't this palette, it was the blue palette. I only made like two videos because I was so frustrated with how bad the look was and no matter what I did, I couldn't fix it because the powder, it was just so powdery and so bad. Yeah, I went in with this and then a brown out of the other one and it just was not working. Like, if you are if you are going to drop $20, I think the mattes should work as well as the shimmers. Now the shimmers in this on the other hand, I will be keeping them because of the shimmers. I will not be decluttering them because the shimmers are amazing. I uh, used other palettes for the mattes, which we'll get into in a minute, but the shimmers in these are amazing. So they were worth it. Let me show you just a couple of the shimmers out of each palette. They are soft and they uh, go on the eye really easy. All right, so the blue, that one right there, looks like that. Then I used this blue and it is to die for. I mean, just look at how pretty those are. The shimmers are amazing. And they're soft and they're buttery. Would I pay $20 alone for these shimmers? Absolutely freaking not. I would not recommend any of these palettes. But I am going to keep them because I didn't pay for them. I didn't pay the $20 that was being asked. Um, this gold was really, really pretty. And it looks like that. And then let's do this purple out of this one. I mean, they, it was really, I mean, the shimmers are great, but the, um, when you're paying, when I'm paying $20 for a pro revolution, I expect my mattes to be decent. When I needed a flat, decent matte, I went in with this palette right here. And this palette I've used a couple of times. Um, I will be using it in a different, uh, makeup revolution week, but I did use it for this. So we are going to talk about it here too. The mattes in this are amazing. Smells amazing. Kind of smells like a mix of strawberry, like a strawberry crayon, but it still smells really good. Um, no, it's not bad. I literally just bought this a few months ago. Um, the mattes in it are amazing. The shimmers in it are amazing too, but the mattes were what I used when I needed a matte for any look that came with these for the most part. Um, except for when I did the green look and then I used, um, I used this for the green look. This is a nine pan palette from Makeup Revolution. These are really good. These are way less expensive. I think these are like $9 and they are way, way less expensive in the mattes. And the shimmers in these are incredible. Um, they're, they're, I think they were originally supposed to be a dupe for these guys here, the Hoodas. To me, they're not, but they are really, really good. And I'm a, I, I'm, I'm a sucker for a nine pan palette. So thanks ColourPop for getting me addicted. The yellow that I'm wearing on my eyes today came out of this palette. This palette was a little powdery. Um, you can actually see where the powder leaked onto that. So if you're gonna, um, like this shade right here was really powdery and this shade right here was really powdery. This one wasn't so bad, this yellow right here wasn't so bad. But um, if you're gonna use this, I always put my foundation on first and then I do my eye makeup. But if you are not experienced with getting it off, I suggest putting on your um, eye makeup before before you put on your uh, foundation if you're gonna do this because it will be a pain in the butt if you don't know what you're doing but it is a really really good palette for like nine dollars I think and I am in love with the nine pan palettes I do have a couple more these were also I heart revolution these are really small and they look like child's makeup and I almost didn't pick them up but I used my points from Ulta and I am so glad I did because while these at $20 were trash for the mats, these at I think on sale were $3 a piece I paid for these. 
I've got a couple more down there that I'll use later. These are amazing. I used the mattes when I created the blue look and tried to redo the look I originally tried with that one palette. I used this one and it was stunning. It was also stunning for the green look. I used that green right there as part of the look when I used this palette and it was amazing. That look was one of my favorites. Um, this one, I used a little bit of the pink in my pink look and it was Maze balls. Um, these are really, really good for the price. I would recommend these little palettes right here, like this little series of palettes over these any day. Again, $20. Mattes are garbage, shimmers are good. But these have incredibly easily blendable mattes, creamy shimmers that are to die for. And again, when I got them on sale, I paid $3 and I didn't even pay that. They were basically free because I used my Ulta points and it's actually one of the best decisions I made because I am a sucker for nine pan palettes. I think there's a couple more that I love this particular that I want to pick up. They do look like kids makeup, but they are actually really, really good for the price. So I highly, highly suggest that you get into them. Um, and these I also think are $9 and definitely worth your money. I also have more of these. I think I actually own all four of these. Um, I'll do, when I do another Makeup Revolution Week, I'll include those. But uh, yeah, they're amazing. I love them. I'm so incredibly happy with all of them, except for these. Like I'm so, I cannot get over how disappointed I am in these. I had such high hopes for these. They were so pretty. I was so excited and then when I tried it, it was just, it was, it was comically bad. I couldn't fix it. I, my husband was laughing at me because I was basically in tears because I couldn't fix it. It looked so bad. Uh, it was going everywhere. Just do not use the mats in these. If you buy these and you like the baked, you liked the baked, the baked shadows, yes. But if you want it and you, and you need, and you don't like second palettes, and you don't like to pull out other mats, not worth your money. Not worth $20, um, get them on sale if you're gonna get them. But realistically, I would not recommend them. Um, next week, I think we're gonna do these bad boys. We're going to do um, Sweet Shop. I love these palettes. I haven't used them in a hot minute, but I think we're gonna go ahead and create looks with these for next week. So I think these are next week's palettes. Um, these I know I won't need companion palettes with because I have done a look with each one of these and I am excited to pick them up again. Um, BH killed it with these palettes, and I own, I think, five or six of them? I own, I own five, and I love all of them. So, um, these will be next week's palettes, and I will see you then.